Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage AZ Bio President and CEO Joan Kerber Walker. Welcome back. Now, I just figured out if I put food on the table, you come back on time. I'll have to figure out how to do that on a more frequent basis. When we talk about the life sciences, and we had amazing leaders that came and talked to us this morning. And we're very, very thankful to our panelists and the amazing Dr. Brumfield, the amazing Dr. Pen Penny for taking the time to really help us see how collaboration and innovation and partnerships can literally change the world and how those transformations are happening right here in Arizona. But we are an industry that must collaborate with leaders from all over. Leaders from the venture capital community. And you know, we're thrilled to have Don Baker here today. I see Jack Holliman in the audience. We have Kelly here from the National Venture Capital Association. Having all of us coming together to do something that is truly amazing. Now, Governor Jan Brewer is one of a number of Arizona governors who over the years have believed in us and that we truly can transform not just Arizona, but the world. And so um, Governor Brewer will be I'm leaving office at the end of this year, um, having fulfilled you know, her terms as governor and la le is leaving a lasting legacy. On the screen, you see the quote from Governor Brewer. And this was from this year's State of the State Address, where she specifically said, let's help Arizona develop more pipelines of innovation, connecting quality research, a stellar workforce, and competitive manufacturing from beginning to end. Governor Jane D. Hall started this process over a decade ago with us. Governor Brewer, in some of the hardest economic times ever, got us one step for, even further forward and has fought through this last legislative session for funding for Alzheimer's research for support of the Translational Genomics Research Institute and other key assets here in Arizona. But we have huge, huge challenges ahead of us as we work to fund the research infrastructure that will be necessary to bring us to the next level of development. And that won't be Governor Brewer's job. That will be a new chief executive for our state, a new governor. And we're on tape, and so nobody's going to get me to tell them who my bet is on who that's going to be. But the number one thing we can do is be informed. So one of the things that I have an opportunity to do is brief our gubernatorial candidates on what's happening in our industry, and then interact with them and share ideas. We've also had different forums that were hosted by the Flynn Foundation, by BioExcel, by Blixa down in southern Arizona, which is bringing the candidates together. But you can't all be at those. So I asked our candidates, you know, well, what if you had one minute to look at innovation and the biosciences, and you wanted to tell my friends what you thought? what would you say? So of course, you know, you, you ask your friends, would you do me this favor? And um, they actually said yes, which was really cool. So Clay, next slide, please. So first of all, uh, we do ladies first here at AZ Bio, um, but that's not the reason Christine Jones is going first. They all got the invitation to do a video on the very same day and you're going to see their videos based on when they submitted them. So that's the order. I didn't have to pick names out of the hat. 
it was just first come first served and uh, with that let's see what Christine Jones has to say about the life sciences and innovation Arizona's bioscience industries have shown marked progress Jobs in the private sector have increased at a rate of four times the national average, totaling more than 30,000 new jobs in our state. The growth of new Arizona bioscience firms has consistently outpaced the national growth rate, from 682 firms in 2002 to more than 1,000 today. Unfortunately, not all the news is good news. A recent study showed Arizona receives only slightly more than 1% of bio-related R&D dollars and less than one half of 1% of all the venture capital invested in bioscience in the nation. We can do better, much better. Having spent 11 years growing a technology company, I understand the need for private bioscience investment, and I'm committed to seeing our universities receive the best possible academic research and development funding. We also must further increase STEM education in our K-12 and higher education systems, building broader support and finding new ways to take advantage of public-private partnerships will grow the important high-wage bioscience industries. Investments in bioscience have paid huge dividends for Arizona. We must ensure those dividends exist well into our future. Not bad. Next, we go from the C chief um, counsel for one of our fastest growing IT companies to the former CEO of one of our sweetest entrepreneurial startups, Cold Stone Creamery, who is now our state treasurer. So let's hear what Doug Ducey has to say. My name's Doug Ducey, and I want to be Arizona's next governor. As someone who was a small businessman, somebody who built an ice cream concept here in the state of Arizona, uh, from a Cold Stone Creamery perspective, I know what small business owners need. They need a predictable and consistent tax policy. They need lower taxes. They need lighter regulation. They need low litigation and liability. So that not only allowed us to dominate in terms of ice cream, but we should be welcoming to all other kinds of industries and sectors like bioscience, which is part of a growing and diversified economy. I really believe Arizona can be the most innovative state in the nation, that we can attract businesses to our state and allow the good ideas that are already here to grow and blossom if we have good public policy and a governor that will embrace free enterprise in this state. Now, if you wonder why we have more Republicans than Democrats in these videos, it's because we have a primary coming up, which everybody needs to vote in. And even if you're an independent, you can vote in the primary if you register that way. Um, but our next candidate um, is Fred Duval. And Fred is a former policy advisor um, and, very importantly, past chairman of the Arizona Board of Regents. Um, so let's hear what Fred has to share. Hi, I'm Fred Duval, and I'm running for governor. Expanding Arizona's bioscience and biohealth industries is one of the keys to diversifying our economy and creating high-paying jobs. We have great organizations in Arizona, Vero, BioCell, TGen, Critical Path, and of course, the leadership of the Flynn Foundation in its bioscience roadmap. And we have excellent universities leading the way but we need our state government to create the environment for their success. We'll do it by supporting research at our state universities, streamlining university tech transfer, expanding R&D tax credits so as to increase access to capital and give Arizona industry leaders the confidence they need for their investments. And together, we'll make bioscience and biohealth the foundation of moving Arizona's economy forward. Our next video is from um, Ken Bennett, who is a business executive, past Senate president, and currently Secretary of State. And uh, this is what Ken has to share with you. Hi, I'm Secretary of State Ken Bennett, and I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today. But I did thoroughly enjoy my visit with the Flynn Foundation at their Candidate Educational Forum last week. Bioscience continues to be one of Arizona's fastest growing sectors of our economy and it provides countless economic opportunities around the state. 
Without an investment in bioscience projects, Arizona will lose economic expansion and business development opportunities that would produce high paying jobs our state desperately needs. That's why as Senate President, I led the charge to invest more than $400 million in the 21st Century Fund to support bioscience research in our universities. This investment has created a generation of new jobs and transformed Arizona into one of the nation's fastest growing bioscience states. As governor, I will continue to champion a long-term public-private partnership that invests in the technologies that lead to amazing healthcare innovations and superior healthcare outcomes for our citizens. Enjoy the rest of the expo and please visit my website at bennettarizona.com and I humbly ask for your vote. And last but not least, we talked and uh, we heard from a mayor this morning and we have another mayor, Mayor Lewis is still here with us. Um, now you're going to hear from the former mayor of Mesa, Arizona, um, business executive, ASU alumni, Scott Smith. When I first became mayor of Mesa, I realized we were faced with unprecedented challenges. We also had incredible opportunities. The only way we could meet both of these was through creativity and innovation. And so we established an innovation environment, an environment that recognized that doing things the way we did it today and yesterday wasn't going to make it for tomorrow. And whether that was in economic development or how we operated the city or how we interacted with our citizens, innovation was the key. Innovation in industry, innovation in education, innovation in economic development, this is our future. There's no doubt that our economic opportunity, our educational opportunity is dependent upon our ability to bring the most creativity out of our students, out of our companies, out of our cities, out of our government. This is how we will build a better future. This is how we'll build a better Arizona. So this gives you the opportunity to learn a little bit more about our gubernatorial candidates and what they have to say and share about our industry. Each one of them, their websites were there. You'll have all of these videos will be posted on azbio.tv. Everybody raise their hands that's been to azbio.tv. I want to see more hands than that. Everybody should be going to azbio.tv. Everybody should be sending their neighbors to azbio.tv. Everybody should be teaching their kids from azbio.tv because those videos, over 200 videos now, tell the story of what's going on in our industry in our state. So all of these videos will be up on AZ Bio TV. Use them to share with your fellow employees, with your coworkers, with your neighbors. The most important thing that we can do as Arizonans this summer is vote in the primary elections. There are primary elections going on in legislative districts. There are primary elections going on at the, at the state level. We have some very, very critical decisions that are going to be made this summer. And as my grandma used to tell me, young lady, if you don't vote, you have absolutely no right to complain about anything. So this is an opportunity to get a little introduction to our candidates. We'll have more information for you as things progress on azbio.org and on azbio.tv. But I thought that instead of having to listen to me for a change, you want, might enjoy hearing some other leaders. And we're very, very thankful to all of our gubernatorial candidates for sending their videos in to share with you today. So with that, we're going to take a little break, let you enjoy your lunch, and we'll be back with our fabulous keynote speaker in just a little while. Thank you.